Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning viewer, welcome to my channel if you're new. Don't forget to hit that little subscribe button if you're new. And don't forget to, um, to, um, um, oh, geez. Okay, there we go. It is going. So, I, oh, there, there, I got a picture on my other computer. I'm sorry, everybody. I have been fighting with my OBS and settings in YouTube studio <laughs> to get this going. It's like, come on already. So, hello, 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 everybody. Let me say first, hello to my moderators, my mods of awesomeness. Woohoo! You guys are the best. I couldn't do this without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And let me say hello to all of my viewers of awesomeness. I am so happy to see everybody here. First, well, I don't, I don't know if I, okay. I'm just gonna take this down because it's not working on here. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, anyway, let me show you last week's. Yeah, I was fighting it and fighting it, and yes, I finally won. Okay, this one, unfortunately, you can't see any of the colors. Um, but, guess what? Is it working still? Oh, there it is. Okay. I didn't see any movement on my other screen. Sorry. Um, when I go to Iowa, hopefully very, very soon, hint, hint, um, Mona wants to embellish this. So I'm not going to pour over it, but my black ate all of the color. Oh, I was so upset by that. And this one, which was the, uh, which was the uh, kiss pour, I didn't have enough paint. I didn't, I should have done a base coat, yes. And I should have had more paint in the cups, yes. Brian, <clears throat> you, you were right, okay? You were very, very right. Don't get a swelled head over it, dude, but Brian was right about this. So, this one I'm not gonna pour over because I'm wondering if I can do some dry swiping around the edge so anyway oh, shoot I'm trying to open this box to get this one put in let me move these now I really love the color combination in that second painting the, the regular kiss pour so I'm doing that again tonight with a base coat and with more paint in the cups so, what I got is, is I got two five ounce cups here. Let me move them forward because I'm gonna fill them first. And then I'm gonna put them off to the side. Uh, let's see. So I am putting in the pinkish cut side. Come on. Um, the, what I figured out was for 14 by 14, 7 ounces of paint. That's going by the normal calculations. It's over 12 ounces if you use the Brian calculations. So, I am not using a Brian amount of paint. Ah, come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, and th that was Persian Rose by Amsterdam. This one is Reflex Rose by Amsterdam. And I'm going to do two layers of each. Well, I might even do more than two. I don't know yet. Th and this third one is Caput Mortium Violet by Amsterdam. Because I just love how those colors look next to each other. Okay, and I'm going to do another layer a Persian rose and 
then another layer of reflex rose okay that's about three ounces in the cup but I'm gonna have a base coat so I think it will spread out okay okay there are my pink colors I forgot to warn you Shannon close your eyes I'm using pink yeah you were right oh hi Joanne and hi Bob hi Bob pastor Bob I love that nickname that was given to him. And he's not a real pastor, by the way, everybody. So don't, you know, don't worry if, if what you say in the chat. Okay, the other cup, I don't know if I have enough Prussian blue to, 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 to do two layers. So I'm gonna make the Prussian blue small layer in the bottom. And this is Prussian blue by Amsterdam. Then I'm gonna put some King's Blue by Amsterdam on top of that. Oh, lurking but working. Well, it's better than you being on the road, Larry. You make me nervous when you do that. Okay, that was King's Blue. Then I'm going to top it off with uh, Iridescent Blue Black number 360 by Pebio. and then I'm going to put another layer. Uh, I'm getting to the end of this bottle. See, mine don't fart very loud when they're empty, thank God. Uh, okay, that's all I can squeeze out of that. Put that one over there. King's blue. And you want to get your cups about even. And this will probably be the last time I do a kiss pour with two cups. Because Mr. Brian and Mr. Larry have been. Um, oh, thank you so much, Jeff B. You are a super chat superstar. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you. And hail Jeff B. Because you know I can't do it one handed. <laughs> I can't get my fingers to cooperate. Okay. And I'm going to put this back. Okay. So I got my pink side and I got my blue side, boy girl colors. But first, I'm going to do a base coat. A thin base coat, but a base coat nonetheless. So I'm gonna scoop out some of this. Let me see if, let me get a paper towel. Let me spread it around a little bit. And then I'll use a little paint spatula or, or I don't know what they're called. Um, those little paint scraper spatula things that you buy in the hardware store, the cheapy ones. Okay, forgot to take the stickers off, but, uh, oh, putty knife, that's what they're called, duh. Okay, so let me just spread this out evenly as best I can. Let's see what everybody's saying in the chat. Butter that baby. <laughs> That's a good term, okay? So from now on, my base coat is butter that baby. And Mona should know, because Mona cooks a lot, and she's a very, very good cook, and she probably butters 
all her meat before she puts it in the oven or butters her skillet. Right, Mona? Um, anyway, let me smooth this out just a little bit. There we go. Okay, let me pop some bubbles as soon as I figure out where I put my torch. Linda? Linda, where'd you hide it at? Nope, it's not behind the monitor. Ah, uh, Linda up. Oh, damn it, Linda. Excuse my language. Linda's notorious for hiding my torch on me. And she even does it in real life. When we were painting together, she was always hiding my torch. Which reminds me, tomorrow night I have a special premiere coming up at the same, same time as, as my lives normally. And it's Linda T and I, and it's the very first ring pours we ever did together. I mean, not ring pours, kiss pours. Okay. Now I want to turn so you can see it coming out. Should be able to see it in that little um, camera off to the side. You want to get, you want to get both streams coming out at the same rate. kissing as they go off the cup edge and that's one problem I have okay there we go well, I was supposed to do it slow but See, this is why I think Brian's cup is going to make such a big difference. Hmm. I didn't pour all this out, but I'll save it just in case I need it. Okay, now it's basically going to be some slow tilting. First, let me go over and kill any of those nasty little bubbles that got in there. Okay, now, ah, see, this spreads out much easier with a base coat. So, Brian, you were right. Everybody, mark, mark this day on your calendar. I just told Brian he was right. Hey, I'll give the man credit when it's due, you know. Trying to get it as close as I can to the corners without going off. Now I want to see where the weight of my paint's at. Trying to get it back in the middle. I don't think I need cuppy hands. Well, I better. I better just in case. So I'm going to go down to this corner first. and bring it back and wipe my glove off yeah it is it is a lot cuter Kathy um, with the slant in it okay now well let me get the weight of the paint back to the middle and do this corner and back and wipe my hands off again oh hi Susan
Oh, come on. When you guys, Linda, don't say that about tomorrow night's painting. And I love it in the video. She says she loves green. So we've now got it on video. So she can't deny it anymore. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to need a cupping hand over on the last corner. So let me just tilt this. I know I got my fingers on the corners, but I will fix where my finger left marks. Ah. Oh. I'm loving, I'm loving, loving, loving with the iridescent blue. Wait a minute. I got to wipe my hands before I go dripping on there. Thank you, Susan. I do love these colors. You know what makes it pop? It's that reflex rose. And over here, it's the little hints of the king's blue that I have. Okay. First thing I want to do is fix my corners where I got my fingers in there. So I want to just get some of the paint from the bottom edge and tap it on there so it'll drag over the other paint, hopefully. There we go. Ah, you need a little spot of pink. I'm letting the the cells and the lines kind of do their thing while I'm fixing these corners. Just fixing them. Get paint all over it. Because I'm seeing something I might want to change after I fix the corners. I might want to change the composition just a little bit. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me... If I get too much white on the sides, I can always go back in there after it's dry and paint it. Okay. For my taste, I want to get some more of that pink coming this way. I have got almost all bikini corners, but they kind they're kind of cute. I want to see if I Oh yeah, I got enough paint to get it to move this way. I'm just fixing my composition to something that I really, really like. Because if you're not happy with your painting, then you got to fix it. And everybody's taste is different, too. Not moving as fast as it was. Let me see if I can get some of it to go down that way. There we go. I wanted to get some of that light blue off down there. And now I want to see what I can do with this stuff in this corner. OK. 
Okay. I want to bring it back down because I got m too much pink in the it, and not enough blue. Mm. Oops, just ran right into my white container. Okay. So, let's see what everybody in the chat... No, no, no! Oh, well, I didn't pour off that much of the dark blue. Although, my paint's a little thin over here, and because my base coat is thinner than my paint. I don't know if I can get any of this to move towards that corner. No, it's moving too slow. Okay, let me turn it the way I think it should look. I can see some white dots, but that that has got to be the paint densities working against each other. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. I'm stopping tilting. I ended up with some white spots here where the uh, paint was thin over the base coat and the base coat's peeking through. But... If I don't like those when it's dry, I can take a little tiny brush and touch them up. So let me. I'm leaving it now, Shelly. I'm leaving it now. I'm to stop. I have stopped tilting. I have stopped tilting. I am going to go over it because I see a few air bubbles. underneath with my finger get rid of my drips so they don't drag the rest of the paint down uh, let me turn it once so I can get this side easy Okay, let me bring it up for its close-up. Hey, I didn't think of that. The brand of white that I'm using in here is the Artist Loft Soft Body. Um, mixed with, I think, I think my base coat's mixed with glue. And it is to a very thin consistency. So, I'm not too worried about the white spots. Because I know they're fixable after... after I um, um, let it dry. But this one turned out so much better than the other one. I love this little chaos in the middle between the, the, the blue and the pinks. And then I got some really, really cute lines down here. And then I got some straight lines over here. We'll see what the whites look like. Okay, let me. Okay, let me put this little baby to bed. I've wiped its bottom and I've burped it with the torch. thing I want to do before I take my gloves off is just kind of wipe this down a little bit so I don't get too much of these colors mixing with the other ones because I'm doing a purple theme for a flower. 
Never did have to use that other paint. Okay. Now, I am going to do a feather, but as a swipe. And because I am almost positive, okay, I'm not going to be able to put it vertical, so I got to put it horizontal. So I'm probably going to do the feather like this. Well, maybe not that big. Okay, let me put one cap on that's missing over here. Okay, and I am going to put a very, very thin. Um, oh, hi, Julia. Um, Joy, I think it does, but I don't have any right now that mixed up, so. Okay, you know what? Everything you're going to, well, let me see. I'm trying to get that like that so you can still see the swiping. And hello, 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 everybody that came in. Okay. Now I'm going to put a very, very thin base coat down because this is going to be a swipe. And you don't need a real thick base coat for your swipe. So let me open this. And just pour it down the middle. Because I'm not going to worry about my sides because hopefully my sides will stay <laughs> white. Not have any color run over. So I am just going to spread this out. I'm trying to get it even and at the same time keep it a little thin. So I'm just going to tilt it back and forth a little bit to even it out. Don't have much paint on there. Okay, there we go. Trying to see what everybody's saying in the chat. Oh. You guys are talking about the weather. I don't go outdoors much, you know, out into the woods or anything. But I'll be damned if I didn't get a spider bite in the, of all places inside of Johan's store yesterday. It was like I couldn't believe it. Well, get on the ball, Linda. You know how in Virginia your neighbors help you? Wait a minute. What did I just do with it? Oh, there it is. Um, I got to find my cat bowl before I go miss losing all my cats. Um, you know how in Virginia, when, when a farmer, when like his barn burns down or something, how all the neighbors come and help build him a new one? See if you can have your neighbors come help you, a sh help build you, build you a shed. Okay.
Now for this, I am using the um, um, mixture of 50% Floetrol, 50% GAC 800, and I don't think I added any water to them. That was Indigo Blue, and this one is Permanent Blue Violet. I think I'm going to put the yellow on top of that. Okay, I got a little crusty spot on here. Okay, and this is Naples Yellow Deep. And then I'm going to put some white on top of that. Well, no, I'm going to do gold next. And another crusty. <laughs> and it's not crusty the clown either, it's just a crusty of paint. <laughs> Anybody remember crusty the clown? <laughs> okay. And on top of that, I'm going to put my white pearl mix which is uh, um, the paint to pouring medium is 1 to 2.5, but I think my paint was one part paint and one part um, Vallejo. Okay, now comes the long part. Well, first I got to uh, torch it. <laughs> they are almost family now. <laughs> okay, uh, let me torch. Get any air bubbles out of there. I'll have to torch afterwards. Okay, now, I knew I wasn't going to have a clean place to put my little napkin strips down. So, I got a cheap container. Oh, you can't see it right there. Wait a minute, let me move this up just a little bit, and I'll put it right here. Okay, I've got two whiz of paper towels cut. I got um, this width. I got skinny ones. And then I got the little jaggedy ones. So I'm going to start up at the top. See, that's why I wanted a place to, so, I, so I'd have a place for the water to go. I'm going to start, not at the top, at the bottom, excuse me. It will be pulled out more with the jaggedy ones when I get when I get to them. Oops, don't want it there. Let's see what everybody's saying in the chat. Yes, I cut the paper beforehand. I don't want to sit here and make you guys wait through my paper cutting because my paper cutting skills aren't exactly quick. There we go. Don't want to. No, it isn't. It'll be a feather when I'm done. It's not a man part. Jeez. Who said that? 
Who said that? Was it Linda or was it Shannon? Who thinks it looks like a man part? See, just basically taking a piece off the stack, spritzing it with water. Dipping it in part of the paint and then throwing it off to the side because I don't want any of the uh, paint that's on it to get anywhere else. It's a snake. <laughs> Well, if it looks like a man part now, it won't when I'm done with it. It'll hopefully look like a feather. It's not looking like a feather yet. But I've got um, the other ones to um, do some skinny little lines in there. That's why you cut the ones with the jagged edges. Okay. Looks a little mannish to you. Oh, hello, my darling art, art daughter. Sam, it's so good to see you. I have missed you, girl. I'm glad that you're able to finally get back on YouTube. Okay, there we go. Don't worry, I'm going to get it into shape. paper towel down because I think I'm going to have better luck making a feather this way than I did trying to do the kiss pour. See, I got little ones because I know I'm going to have to go in there a little bit and I might as well... I think I can use the big one a couple more times. Yep. Let's see what everybody's thinking. <laughs> okay. Saw somebody type that they were home in quarantine. I just found out today that we actually have somebody in the building that's in quarantine. And they, like, I, you know what? What, 50 apartments? They better keep their hiney in their apartment. Okay. I'm going to swipe this last one with a point. So what I'm doing is... Folded it into, into a point. I've seen um, AB Creative do it. Okay, one more in a point, and I think then I can fix some spots. this down. Okay, I didn't get any purple right there, so let me just go through there. Okay, now I'm going to use a couple little ones to kind of shape it a little bit better. I want to 
going to fill in this part right here. And I'm going to turn it over and try to do a little swipe right here. Okay, I see a spot over there that needs to be fixed. I'm going to say that the little ones are about an inch wide, and I'm going to say that the bigger ones are about an inch and a half wide. Okay. There we go. Got some purple. Couple more spots. Well, yeah, except he has to take into consideration the people in the other 49 apartments, and he has to, he better stay in there because we've got people in this, in this building that should not get sick with COVID because of the other health problems they have. Okay. Now I'm going to try to do some little featherings. Now, it, I just cut little, I had it folded in half, and then I cut little triangle, little point shapes out, which gave me these point shapes left. And I'm going to try not to, oh, not to let them stick together. I'm going to try to get just the points Ah, that doesn't work. Okay, try not to drop your napkin in there either. Pro tip. Okay, now let me see what I can do over here. See? Starting to look like a feather. Yeah, I hope he does because he hangs around. He's part of what I call the romper room gang that um, sit around in the uh, community room for three hours every day just sitting there talking and gossiping. And I really, really hope that he stays. Okay, let me see if I can get just a little bit of this out. Well, I do have one other idea. I don't know if I'm going to have enough paint on there. I don't know where one's at. I'm trying to think while I'm doing this where one's at. I was going to try to brush it out a little bit with a comb. I may not need to. I'm working my way up. Um, yes, and you know, Sam, we were talking, oh, it's been a couple of years now, I think, since we talked about it, back when we used to both be on something on Wednesday nights together. Um, we, want, we were going to do a collab, that uh, cityscape, um, painting you did. We were going to do a collab together, Try each trying it. I still would like to do that. So send me a message and let me know if you're up to it. Dancing, okay, wait a minute. Dancing Moody Branch? I'm sorry. What is that? Is that somebody's name? I wasn't sure what that was. I just saw typed in the chat. Yeah, do you remember us talking about it, Sam?
didn't know if you remembered it or not. Okay. Feather's looking a little fat. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to need a comb. I think I'm going to get enough of these little napkins to bring out some of the wispies along the side. see if I can just use the other side of this. Okay. I'm going to call. I can't see what else I should do to it. Let's see what people say in the chat. Oh, it's an ocean? Okay. Oh, yes, we do have a great group of friends here. Okay. I'm looking to see if anybody thinks I should try to do any more, any more uh, swiping in here. Don't really see anybody yet. So, I going to get a napkin and I think it'll look more like a feather when I get my little center done uh, greetings Mac and hello to infinite, infinite manifestations and Afraya. I, I don't know if I need to do. Well, let me go. Let me go through it once more. Ah. See, I can't draw. I can't even draw a straight straight line through my feather. It's not, it's not a perfect feather, but have you ever seen the feathers that come off of some of these birds sometimes? Believe me, I see all kinds of odd shaped feathers out in the yard, and that's just from the mallard ducks. Oh, Carol's here. Hello, Carol. Don't ask, Carol. I had chicken and rice, no veggies. <laughs> Long joke between her and I. She's always trying to get me to eat my veggies. Well, let me, let me pop some air bubbles. I think because I got some drips down the side, I'm gonna add a little bit more paint to the sides with a spatula to smooth it out. Cause I think this will this will level itself out right here. So here, let me do it this way. Let me do it from the very beginning. I love the effects I got in here. Got my little spine. I can't remember the right word. <laughs> um, Linda knows the right word for that part of the feather. All I'm going to do when I shut the camera off is just add little bits of white paint to even out the size. Yeah, I don't watch as many people. Wait a minute. <laughs> Is cereal a veggie? As a matter of fact, that's what I'm having later after this live. My friends know me too well. 
Thank you, Carol. Oh, Ray Kiss. Okay. Thank you, Linda. So, I don't know if it's, I doubt it's going to move anymore because there's not a lot of paint on there. When I tilted it, nothing moved. So, I am going to go around the side. So, let's see. This is Tuesday. Guess what? I got a premiere tomorrow night. Me and Luce Boutte, or La Chat, as, as all you guys call her, um, we are going to have a premiere on my channel tomorrow night. It's her and I doing our, bo both of us doing our very first kiss pours. I mean, I've been sitting on her porch having a safety meeting, and I kept, kept, um, um, watching Olga Sobe, and I said, let's do this. So we recorded ourselves doing it. Thank you, Darnell. So we got the premiere tomorrow night. Thursday night, we've got class at, uh, let's see, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Mona premieres at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's Thursday. Then Saturday, we got the Moose and Crazy Show. I mean, the, the Moose and Doris Show. <laughs> <laughs> I read that word crazy and that's what I said sorry so that's um um yes thank you Mona for sticking up for me I did and I had half a steak too and I had some um potatoes um so Saturday uh we've got the uh, moose and doors show um back to back um at uh 6 p.m and 7 p.m eastern and then Sunday we go, oh, this Sunday we have got Brian. I love that. And he's, and he's going to show us a new re redesigned cup. And if you haven't checked, that, checked it out, um, um, Larry and Angie have been doing it over on Crunchberry's Playhouse. So be sure to, you know, go check out their stuff, you know. Uh, and then uh, that's Sunday. And then Monday, we go back with the live with Christina Welch. So there's your lineup for the week. Got a busy week. We're giving you Friday night off. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank everybody for coming. I like the moose and crazy. But I'm not calling. Well, I am a little crazy. Okay. So. Thank you guys for coming out. My mods of awesomeness, who I couldn't do this without you, and my viewers of awesomeness, I love each and every one of you. Y'all are superstars in my book. And I will see you this, uh, tomorrow night at my premiere. Okay? That is 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central. Well, it's already set up, but I think they've already been putting the link up. <laughs> thank you joy okay so all I can say is bye for now